Today, we're going to talk about how much YouTube content creators make. Final Fantasy content creators specifically. Do not mind me. I just got home from the gym and uh, going to get ready for work. But I really wanted to make this video because I find this shit really, really interesting. And I think it's really good for the Final Fantasy community to know how much money content creators don't make. They swear that content creators make a shit ton of money on YouTube specifically. I'm only talking about YouTube. YouTube you get money by views but more specifically how often people watch ads if you have youtube premium we still get a small portion of that if you're skipping ads um even if you watch five or ten seconds and skip that still accumulates for every 30 seconds ad watch we get a certain amount of money i think this is great for transparency i can only talk for my channel i don't want to talk for any other content creators i'm um, gaming or non-gaming related for someone who is a relatively small content creator i have less than 20,000 subscribers i've been doing this for just about two years maybe a little bit more as you can see i only make 250 dollars a month from youtube content specifically not from patreon discord twitch or anything like that i started streaming on Twitch on Tuesdays from 12 to 4. Even that uh, probably will make more money than what I make on YouTube. And that's why you see a lot of content creators do multiple things or post clips or expand out from one game because you're kind of limiting yourself. We'll go to one of my most viewed videos, Fast Leveling Alt Jobs. This is a great video. Good watch time, 163,000 views. It is something that can bring in a lot, of, a lot of revenue. So if you think of content creators who have multiple videos who hit hundreds of thousands of views they are making a little bit of money going over to the analytics i posted this in march in 2023 this video has made me about 316 dollars this is going to differ from content creators because it has to again do with ad revenue and ad watch time so if people are watching this video but skipping every single ad or not you know, equating to the 30 seconds of ad watch, then someone with the same amount of views might have less revenue and someone with less views might have more revenue than a video like this. Gaming, we all have TikTok short attention span brain. So um, they generally don't pay as much when people are doing gaming content. You don't you don't necessarily get as much from YouTube specifically. Seeing this, I've had 163,000 views, 367 subscribers, and $316 in ad revenue. The subscriber does not matter when it comes to getting paid from YouTube. Hitting subscribe is only telling YouTube that you're interested in this content creator. It doesn't give them any more money than if someone watched it who was unsubscribed. And you'll find a lot of the time, and maybe you even know this as a consumer, you might not even be subscribed to a content creator, but you watch them consistently. So YouTube is always feeding them their videos. Subscription just allows YouTube to say, oh, you're really interested. So we'll make sure to put these videos but if you stop watching their videos, even if you're subscribed, YouTube will stop pushing it because all that matters is view time. View time and view duration is YouTube's two biggest numerical values when it comes to how successful a video is um, and click rate. You know, having a good thumbnail, a catchy thumbnail, getting people to watch, getting people to stay on the video, getting people to watch ads. That's all they care about. Going something to like maybe a smaller viewed video. So let's just go to one of my old ones, learning how to craft really, really old one. Oh my gosh. 2021 going to these analytics uh, for my 1700 views, $3 and 83 cents. That video took me a long time to make and I only made $3 from it. Boohoo sucks, but that's just the name of the game when it comes to YouTube content creation, especially in the Final Fantasy community where this is not a game that's regularly updated and putting out content that content creators can really put videos out on a weekly basis, say comparatively to Genshin or Star Rail or even Fortnite for that matter. There's a lot more content coming out and updated in a quicker sense. So this is probably why you see a lot of Final Fantasy 14 content creators ebb and flow and quit and then come back and then quit again and then come back and they do other games and they turn it into this whole hubbub. It's just because of the style of content for Final Fantasy, which is totally fine. Like if you're a content creator and you've been doing this for a little, you know this, which is why we see Zeppla, Xenos, Mr. Happy, they stream four to five days a week for hours on end because that's where they're making the bulk of their money and through Patreon and um, through Ko-Fi and through Discord membership, Twitch membership. That's why you'll see a lot of content creators for Final Fantasy push to other platforms because there's just really not a lot of money to be made. You have to think YouTube as a vehicle in order to build your other platforms and get people into other ways, which is again why you see a lot of people. I think this information is great for new and upcoming coming Final Fantasy content creators. And I think it's good for people who've been watching YouTube for a long time 
that it's not necessarily a glamorous life like these people are just making one video and then not doing anything for two months and like reaping the benefits like there is a lot of money to be made on youtube and we're not even talking about brands and sponsorships and that kind of stuff that is why we see some of the biggest content creators in the community xenos desperus zeppla mr happy i'm sure i'm missing some other really awesome amazing content creators who stream five days a week that is where they're watching most of the money I remember I watched one Zeppelin stream. This was before I was a content creator. So this was quite a while ago. And in that specific stream, she had made like someone donated $300. Somebody did this, somebody did that. And just keeping like a mental tally of it, she made like three or $4,000. And I know that now being a content creator and knowing how ad revenue split at one stream, she had made like, you know, two to $3,000 in just that one stream. Like that's insane. That was obviously one of her better streams and she has a lot of stream revenues. And that's why when you do YouTube, you want to have a lot of different stream revenues. You'll see people with Amazon link. It's a lot of little bits of money everywhere that add up into something that can actually make it a living on the other end of that that's why a lot of smaller youtube content creators still have full-time jobs like myself and it makes it difficult to even go farther into content creation you just gotta grind and that's just the name of the game if you want to do well you just gotta grind and put out more content good content quality is king as think media would like to say and making sure or even entertainment i struggle with that I don't feel like I'm really that damn entertaining on stream, but I'm working on it. And I feel like I'm getting a lot better about it. Following community, that all matters because um, that's where you're going to start making a living out of this. So I'm super lucky. I have a lot of amazing Patreon and Discord supporters who support me and me doing my content. So even though my view count isn't quite there, I still make enough to make all of this worth it. And I love doing it. And it helps me branch out into other things like streaming and to the people who put in comments like, oh, they're just posting that for views and they want to make money. Like, no shit. That's why we do this. <laughs> That's why we post content is to make money. We do it because we love it and the intentions are good. But ultimately, you want to do what makes you happy and can make a living for you. If someone did it, is saying they don't want to do it for the money, they're fucking lying to you. Then unmonetize your videos if you don't want to do it for the money. And you just won't see that because again, it's all about making money. Now, of course, people tip the line here and they do really clickbaity stuff and really those kind of people don't end up surviving the YouTube content creator space because people just kind of get tired of that shit and don't want to watch it. A lot of people like blunt and just straightforward. That's why Xenos, I think, is so popular. He's such a great content creator, really just tells you how it is and says fuck you at the end of the day if you don't like it. And he he is, you know, uh, unapologetically himself, which I hate, I hate that phrase. He's a great content creator. Zeppelin is entertaining. Mr. Happy is so educational. You can literally ask that dude anything and he could answer for on the spot like he's just so smart and so everyone has their niche if you like a content creator support them if you're able to i mean in this economy this shit's hard so don't you know no one's holding it against you if you can't support that that shit is hard but there are ways to support without you actually spending money like watching entire videos helping um hitting like commenting all that stuff pushes the video out and accesses to more people. That's why you always see on uh, YouTube content creators be like, oh, I stream on this day and I do this and make sure to like and comment, do this because all of that just keeps the ball rolling and you want to keep that momentum as you have it. I find this shit super interesting. If you have any questions about this, comment join the discord. I love talking about this kind of stuff. I think transparency is good. And I think this shows a lot of newer content creators where you're going to kind of stack up. Um, there's a lot of new content creators growing pretty fast because they're entertaining. They're fun to watch. There's a lot of very veteran content creators who have a good hold into the community because they know their niche. They know what to play through and people just like watching that shit. So my name's Bun Boss. I love this shit. I just always wanted to kind of make this style of video um, for people in the Final Fantasy community to really understand what goes on in the back end. I do stream on Tuesdays now from 12 to 4 PSD. Come hang out with me. It's a good time. I'm getting better at it. I'm finding my more niche entertainment value. You get some hot shoulder action in there sometimes. If you want to watch more of my content, then you can find that in the description box or by clicking here.